you tell us about the legacy of the project and how it began? Well, this dictionary um, is the second edition of uh, the New Grove Dictionary of American Music, and um, the original dictionary was published in 1986 and edited by um, H. Wiley Hitchcock and Stanley Sadie. I have used the original dictionary for many years, and I was a student of uh, H. Wiley Hitchcock, and um, so it's been a, a project that's always been dear to my heart. The new edition, the second edition, uh, is based in part uh, on the original dictionary, um, but we have expanded it in many different directions. Um, um, some of the areas uh, that changed in configuration included country music. There are also um, areas of the dictionary that uh, changed because new musics have appeared. Uh, so we have uh, extensive coverage of hip hop, extensive coverage of different types of electronic music. We have articles on things like laptop performance and concert music. And then we also tried to build on what, what we thought were strengths of the original dictionary. Well, your name is on the cover and on the spine. <laughs> uh, and this will always be known as, as your eight volumes. But you work with a very large number of, of other scholars so can you tell us about that process? As you mentioned, it was certainly a collective effort. Um, we had around 1,500 contributors to the dictionary, I, some of whom wrote a single article, um, some of whom wrote a dozen articles. Um, one, uh, Jonas Westover, who, who wrote or uh, edited almost 400 articles. Um, so different levels of involvement the reason I was willing to um, devote a lot of time to this project is actually because it was going to be an online dictionary also. Um, I knew it needed to be in order to reach students today. I knew that it had to be online in terms of adding audio and video examples eventually. Um, I knew I wanted it to be able to be searched by um, Grove users um, and I knew I would want it to be updated. You know, some of the subjects of, of uh, the Grove Dictionary of American Music second edition are living composers, for example, or performers. Well, over the years, some of those will pass away and we can update that information more or less in real time mm -hmm. and not have to wait another 25 years <laughs> <laughs> until there's uh, enough of a, of a built up energy to, to force a new print edition. Uh, what is a complicated process is then how do you take something from print and make it vital online as well. And this is something that we've had to spend a great deal of time working on, thinking through, um, in order to make these, bring these articles seamlessly into the online environment. Yeah, I think one of the nice things about the online integration is that um, having new content doesn't mean the old content disappears or is no longer accessible. I wanted it to live more than uh, as a marker of 2013, but, uh, but as a kind of living, growing dictionary um, where scholars could uh, keep things going into the future.